Hello. Before I get started, I want to say this. Um, I don't hear things the way the human mindset hears them. Um, for example, someone asked me what I do for a living once before. And that question is a miss. And you may be thinking, how can you say the question is a miss instead of answering the question? You have to understand that life is the force that you are. Only in this consciousness do you call physical activities. Um, my life is going great because I got the car, I got the job, I got the, we have different sets of terms. And so I don't do anything for a living. You don't have to do for life. Life is, I am life. Life is force. I am the life force. And so you may think that I am um, disregarding your questions. They are on a different dimension of consciousness. A lot of people think when you hear a being from the other side, you're thinking, okay, it's going to be pointy ears or something in that sense. No, being is not physical. It's state of being. My state of being is from the other side of the terms and conditions and the, the way of living. Um, of this earth and consciousness. So I do understand that there will be some who don't resonate with what I'm saying because as I said, I died and I resurrected from the other side. I hear things differently. And so I just wanted to let you know that. Also, I said that because that's what it means to be. That's the definition of being. You have to become what it is from the other side. To get to the other side, you have to become that which is of the other side. So I do understand your question and feel free to keep asking them. But I'm still asking also for understanding that I did die, it, it just wasn't an experience. Um, people did call me a walk-in. I hear things differently. I hear things from a different side. And so please give me a little understanding. Understanding is, it's peace. And so I want to say this with your, which will help a lot of your questions. Um, God used to talk to me audibly. Um, God used to just talk. It would just be there. And then once I integrated, it went from being a separate voice or an audible voice to just being who I am. And so this is how I, I can just flow because it's just me. It's not knowledge to me. Um, I'm just speaking from my heart. And with that being said, I remember God used to show me things. And I would say, God, show me what C. Well, sorry, I would say, God, show me what three means. And God would show me one. And I was like, no, I don't want to know what one means. Show me what three means. And God would tell me one, what one means. And I would just sit there confused. And I would just say to myself, well, it is God. So let me just roll with it. And I sometimes I would do this for months. 
I would just say, I wonder why God is giving me a different answer. And so I said, well, you know what? Let me, let me just master what one is. And so I put all my time at one. And um, I said, okay, now God, I understand. Show me what three is. And God showed me what two is. And um, I said, no, please show me what two is. I'm, right, I'm sorry, I said, please show me what three is. And God kept talking to me about two. And finally, I surrendered and said, you know what? I'm just going to put all my energy into knowing what two is. And I learned what two was. And once I mastered one and two, I was staring at three. One and two is three. It is not just about telling the experience just to say, look, you can do this. Look, you can do that. I can give you all the knowledge in the world and you can understand it with clarity. But unless that information, unless you are in formation of that information and it is who you are, that knowledge will just be external. Once knowledge becomes nothing, then it is you. Once you don't see it as knowledge, then it is you. Once I studied one and two, then it is three. I am three. One and two is three. And so, as I said, realization is key. Someone asked me, how do you alchemize? And to answer your question, you're alchemizing right now. It, it's, it's not a matter of even knowing what alchemize ever meant. You're always alchemizing right now. And a lot of the things I say, they sit with you because I only speak of love. And the reason I speak of love over the experience, the reason I speak of telling you that love is an illumination that not that is not of this world, because if you realize that, you will put on an illumination that is not of this world. And if you put on a, an illumination that's not of this world, you will transcend this world. And so I speak of one and two, and people are asking me, where's three? Without the understanding, that one and two is three. Some people wonder why Jesus spoke in parables. A parable is in a sense encryption. It can, it's like a piece of art. You can read it and it can take on any meaning, any form. I think it means this. I think it means that. So it's said in that way because it brings out your perception. It brings out who you are. That's what a parable asks. Who are you? How do you see this? And so a lot of times you'll speak over a person's head in a parable. And what a person is failing to realize to grow, someone has to speak over your head. If you can't reach up to what is being said, how will you grow? How will you grow? If I tell you something you already know, how will you transcend it? How will you transcend into a different realm if I'm telling you something you already know? Think about it. And so what I'm telling you, if you feel it in here, you know it's true. You know it's true, but you may not have came into the realization of that because believe it or not, 
before you knew what vibration meant, before you knew what simulation meant, the simulation was set up and U.S. free beings in this simulation is being asked the question, who are you? You don't have to be asked the question physically. It was asked if you're here. And you don't answer the question physically, you answer it with embodiment. Think about the word being, what it means. Let me paint a picture. Let's say it's some beings walking on the other side. And let's say they just are of that other side. None of the things of the construct here, they are not of those things. They're of, they be from the other side. Over here, we're saying, I want to go home. That speaks that we are still not of home. You must be come what is of the other side to be gain to enter the other side. We can know all of the terms in the world. This narrative, this simulation that we're wanting to escape so bad, think about it. The beauty and putting them in a real life video game to see who they are, to see if they be from the other side. Not to be from this side and just say, I wanna go back to the other side to see if they are of the other side. And as long as you reciprocate the consciousness here and just say, I'm ready to go, that's not being. I understand your practices and they're beneficial tools, but I wanna tell you this, a person that reads a driver's ed manual, they can read the manuals to learn what to do in the car. But once you pull up at the red light, there's gonna come a time to where you're not gonna just jump out of the car and turn the page and see what you had to do. You're gonna have to become where you're trying to go. You're gonna have to become and there will become, there will come a time when what we do in partition will have to cease. I know your breath work. I know the, the meditation. I know those things. And I'm not saying don't do those things, but I do want to speak over your head to give you something to grow into. Because when a person makes you upset, you don't have time to breathe. You don't have time to get in a pose and say kumbaya at that time. It is happening now. And so what I am here to do to give you the tools to become, it has to be who you are. Let's say there are some beings in heaven. The beings in heaven are of that. They're not, they don't have to say, you know what? They call me ugly, but I'm going to take the high road. They don't even know terms of that nature. It would not be befitting to even know of such a word as ugly or stupid. What are these words even? We don't even reciprocate the consciousness of these things. We are not taking the high road. We are of the high road. I understand and I thank you for everything that you guys are, are saying. I'm not saying don't ask questions, but I'm here to speak over 
your head. And even sometimes when you don't understand it, you feel the truth. And this is the thing about what I am this means. That means it's natural. All knowledge is external. When you speak of knowledge, you in a sense go external. And the very thing that you are of, it has become separate of you. Teachers know this. When you speak, you have to go to all type of levels to speak. When all the knowledge comes together, there will be nothing to say. You simply will not be of this world. It would be nothing to meditate from. It's you. It's you. And there was a simulation set up for this to happen naturally. I'm not smarter because I know words or quantum. It, it's not about, there was a sim, why do you think you were put in natural bodies? So it can happen naturally. It's nothing wrong with knowing photons, neutrons, it's a simulation. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that. But everything you're going through is producing real realization. Who you are right now was created by the past versions of you. So that is, at this moment, that is your state of being. That's why you are here. I can tell you all the information in the world. It has to be you. I can tell you I left to the portal. I left here. Or I can tell you how I, how I did it. I did it by saying, by understanding. I was so true to myself that I didn't care if a person went to a courthouse and signed a piece of paper. Once I... I knew that love was not signing a piece of paper. I'm not asking you to do anything. I'm not asking you to not sign the piece of paper. I'm not asking you to do any of these things. I only can tell you what I experienced. I only can tell you what I experienced. And I had to come into it in a real way. I had no idea about astral travel. Once I, from experience, real experience, what better way to come into who you are for the creator to give you a real simulation to be in, to become. So even if you don't know any other words, vibration, um, quantum, different dimensions, it's happening already. And this is why my experience was a bit different. People say he didn't die, but he did. He did die in the realest way because he is no more. What people call love was not. I, the, the one that died said, it, it, I just don't understand how a sweet 16 can be your first love and now you're 17. If love is real, how are we doing it again and again? And this time it didn't work. I'm going to get, I just, I used the, through the simulation, didn't know any spiritual terms. I said, you know what? This just doesn't feel like what love is. And I know that I'm going to have to transcend and I'm not seeing it. I'm going to have to use my imagination. And there is no fear in love. Despite what was happening in this lower vibration, I dedicated myself to dissolve the construct within me for what ugly even meant. Once I did that, I could not be touched. Because we don't see with our eyes, we see with our perception. And if my perception was on a higher level even though you think you do you cannot even see me and that was enough for me 
And yet, even when I heard the words that they were saying, I was now a being from the other side of those words. And no matter how harsh it felt, all I felt was compassion because the harshness has the harshness of this dimension could not touch me, being that I am from another dimension. The words of the human consciousness are futile. I cannot tell you this. The simulation was made for you to come into realization of this. This is my message. Being has to be real. You're not going to have time to hop on one leg and breathe. I understand it. I've meditated. I'm just saying, you're going to have to grow past it to get out of here. You're not going to visit who you are. There's going to come a time where you're going to have to ascend in frequencies. What do you think a God is? A God is a God. What is your definition of a God? To think that the consciousness of earth would touch you. You don't know people's definitions, their terms. They can hear the message. You don't know the level of susceptibility, the dimension of the soil that is being planted into. It's all type of factors. Words have different dimensions. You can hear the word sincerely. Just because someone says sincere doesn't mean it's a good word. A person can sincerely rob a bank with all their heart. You can stay in this consciousness if you choose. You can leave if you choose. The question is, when you hear the word, we are gods, what does it mean to you? What means the world to you? It's not a matter of telling you how I ascended because I'm telling you how I ascended. Same word and different definitions. I hear the words differently. So people say, tell me how you ascended. I'm telling you. Hearing is not just with sound. I'm telling you one and two. Once you become one and two, you'll leave. Your aura is determined by your present state. If you truly believe through this embodiment yourself, you've been given a real life simulation to live daily. You can choose to say, you know what? I'm tired of these people. Or you may have a break in consciousness to say, you know what? This has been going on. There's something wrong with this. This simulation is working whether you are seeking, reading. You are esoteric. What you are doing right now is esoteric. All esoteric means is knowledge. You are the embodiment of what you're reading. You are not human. You are a spirit that has been put in a simulation. That is esoteric. That is mystical. The mystery is who you really are. All of these words that you're looking for, you're it. This is the deepest thing that you will come across. You're in a simulation and it's not even you. You can study outside words. I'm not saying you have to. But you, you're in the simulation for a reason. What do you call love? What means the world to you? The question is, who are you? And if you answer the question in a state of being that's not of here, you will transcend here. You're already being spiritual, whether you know it or not. A lot of people say, well, I'm going to get into spirituality later. Even when you say that, you are a spirit being in essence that's just saying, I'm denying myself right now. 
But for you, you're just saying, I want to watch the game. You created a whole life outside of who you are. Oh, yes, it's true. Yeah. This is the mystery. You're living it. Realization. I, it's, I can tell you of love, but it has to be you. Different levels. You can give a person a, a drink because you're saying they're homeless. And I feel bad for them, so I'm going to give them a drink. That's the right thing to do, even though that's a high tool here. Being from the other side, until you see them as equal, you are not of that being because we are all homeless in this realm. You have to dissolve the consciousness. I'm not expecting everybody to understand. I'm just planting and I will plant over your head. Because if I don't, you will continue to hear the same thing over and over and over. I am here to stretch you out. I don't need quotes. I don't, I know who I am. Does it make me better? Does it make me lesser? I just am what I am. We are all love in essence. This is it. I don't like what's going on in the simulation. I'm ready to go home. If what is going on in the simulation has calibrated your heart, that means you are in an earthen consciousness, which means that even though your words are saying this, you are saying you are home. Home is where the heart is and your heart speaks what your mouth doesn't. You are your worst enemy. The one that is complaining is not the one that will go. The one asking the questions is not the one that will go. You have been placed in a simulation that you are able to think freely. Some people said, I don't think we have free will. You are free to think that. Well, wouldn't we be able to fly if we had free will? You can't. Because even though you're saying, I don't think we have free will, that is a statement, but there is a lot of variables that led up to that statement until the mindset that is dissolved, get rid of all of those variables. Of course, you won't be able to fly. And even flying is an understatement because you even mentioned flying because we, you say we walk. And so instead of walk, we think of flying. You, everything is possible. I can tell it to you deeply, I can give you my testimony, or I can tell you simply, whatever I say, you still will have to come into realization on your own. This is what the simulation for. I can, you can say, you can hear someone on an NDE say, you know what, we're not real parents. We're, we're, we're not really mom and dad. There is a lot of substance missing from that statement. That is a hollow statement because the experience that led up to that understanding is not truly there yet. When the experience is there, you won't have to say the statement. If I tell you that I have no biological mom, it is because when I was 33, I understood that the logic of this biologic was not love. Once I reversed the consciousness that harnessed this love below, I died. Once I returned, I understood that what I call mother was teaching things of the biologic, which was of a lower consciousness. And there was no need for the cellular data plan. So it's not a mother to me. It is a soul. I'm not just saying it because I heard someone say it on TV. You have to come into realization. And I know we want people to say, this is how you do it. This is how the simulation is set up for you to really become what you are saying you are. We can say it. That goes for me, anybody. It's just truth is truth. Once you bend the truth to fit you, you lose because the truth can't be bent. It hangs in the balance. 
And unless you come into alignment with it, you will constantly reciprocate the consciousness. I hear people say, everybody is living their truth. I understand. But if you take a Toyota to a BMW dealership, tell them that you're living your truth and tell them to fix your car. Unless you come into alignment with their truth, you will not get in the gates. There is a gate of truth that you can come into alignment with and you can leave this dimension but you really have to become that. And this experience is allowing you to do so naturally, whether I tell you the truth or not. It's not about seeking the truth. It's about the bodies that you have been placed into and the things that you see around you. And that alone is asking you, who are you? And the place that you are in right now gives the answer. People say all the time that beings are ascending, descending here to raise the vibration. But when you tell them something different, they fight that to keep the same reciprocation of the same vibration. You are gods. Don't you think you're going to have to hear some very high information to climb into to get there? I think a lot of people are wanting to hear the same thing, thinking that the same information is going to produce higher results, and it's not. I love you. If I didn't, I wouldn't tell you the truth. No matter what I say, the simulation is set up, and you must come into these things, really. It must be you. Without a doubt, nothing needed. Not having to say, I gotta meditate. Oh, I gotta run and do this. Oh, I gotta hop on one leg. I'm not saying don't, but until you see yourself in that place, no matter what's happening, happening around you, I don't care if the empire building is blowing up. I was in a fire seated in that place in what you call harm and I disappeared because I was already doing work up until that point. Other people grab information and they may say, well, that's going to happen for me. There is work I did up until that point. I was reversing the consciousness up until that point. It was like a cup filling up and that fire was the last straw. You know what? And when people hear information, they automatically say, why didn't that happen for me? It's not, doesn't. This simulation is for you. It will happen naturally. The words vibration, we learned them, but vibration was already at play. Einstein has a theory of a space-time ripple that was only part of an equation. That was not the whole equation. To figure out part of something is not an equation at all, yet that is genius to people. If you find out that we have a space-time ripple, that's finding out what you're in. Why are you in it is the question. See, the thing about me, I don't have a respect of persons as the human mindset does. I don't value names like, oh, this is Einstein. You got to, no, no, no. I'm a free thinker. That's how I ascend it. That's half the equation. I didn't even know about a space-time ripple. I just knew love wasn't up from here. When I put that in my brain, I seen a space-time ripple and then the dimension open. I can buy a video game and read the codec of the game, but until I beat the game, I'm still in the game. I am nothing. It has to be you, just as it has to be me. It's not about information. It's not about just knowing information. It's a real life setup that been made. It's been made just for you. You have taken on principles that has hurt you. See part one of this video. This is part three. If you're ready to ascend, has to be your realization. It's not about me just telling you the truth. It has to be you. It has to be you. If you know one, two, 
you will know three. You already hear my testimony. It's afar off and I'm speaking about it right now. I don't hear the way people hear. You can ask a person a question to see if they understand this and they may not, but they'll say, can you tell me about that? I'm so thankful. I was so thankful when God did that. I didn't understand it. I whined for a while. And you can whine about the simulation, but there's a reason you're there. You've been placed in a real life play for you to come into real life um, situations. You, for you to come into realization of who you are. Who's to say you will just because I'm telling you this? Love is love. Hold true to what love is. That's, that's the message of the cross. People are like, how do you know these things? I, don't, I just know love. Jesus crucified himself because if you retaliated, it was not of love. I don't care what is going on around you. Love will be love. If I die, so I may. Let love be true and every man a liar. Let God be true and every man a liar. The truth hangs in the balance. No matter what is going on, buildings are falling around you, wars are going on around you. What is love? When you put on love, you will be exactly where you need to be. <laughs> I'm passionate.